Welcome to this video tutorial on how to input postback tracking in your Google Ads and your analytics. Postback tracking is a really important tool that you should consider using for your campaigns because it can give you a more accurate ROI, LTV, and it will give you a better idea of your tracking and how to optimize it. There are guides on the white label dating blog in the how to resources area. Your partner manager can also give you an idea on what needs to happen. And you can use this video tutorial series to input things step by step like I will show you. It's really important that you work together with your partner manager and that you get this in as soon as you can. So up coming up, there's some videos on how to input it into analytics, how to import it into Google Ads and much more than that. Step one of postback tracking starts in Google Analytics. You'll be able to see here that I am in the home for my Google Analytics. The first thing I'm gonna go is go into admin and to create some goals. You'll see here that there are no goals set up at the moment. We're gonna set up these together. So we've got goal number one. It's really important here that you use all lowercase and make sure that your spellings are correct. So the first one we're gonna do is registration. So we put registration in all lowercase, click event, continue. Now here is where we put in what the category is. So for this one, it's registration. And for this one, it's SOI, single opt-in. Click yes and save. And you can see it there in your goals. Now we're gonna set up the rest of them. So for the next one, we're gonna go do initial. So initial, lowercase, event, yes. For this one, we're going to write subscription. Again, make sure all of your spellings are correct. And the action is initial, yes and save. Next one we're gonna do is rebuild. So rebuild all lowercase and spelt correctly. It's an event, continue. Again, this is gonna be a subscription and it's a rebuild. Yes, save. Next we'll do reinitial, all lowercase, event, continue. It's a subscription and it's a reinitial yes save now we will do refund again making sure that we've clicked initial uh, clicked event and we are writing a subscription and refund yes and save last one we will do charge back event continue you can guess what this last one's going to be subscription and charge back. Yes, and save. So there we are, there's all of our goals in analytics. The next video will show you your next steps. The next step of implementing uh, postback tracking for your sites and campaigns is to link analytics to Google Ads. This is really, really simple to do and you'll be able to see that I've started in analytics in the admin. I'm simply going to go to Google Ads linking and you'll be able to see that in your own account, there's going to be multiple campaigns, multiple properties. You'll need to find the right one. For the purpose of this video, we've created dating agency. So all we need to do is tick that, continue, all website data, link accounts, Wait for that to pull through and done. So that means when we go on to the next phase of going into Google Ads, everything should pull through seamlessly and everything should work together really easily. So the next thing you'll need to do to implement postback tracking is to import those goals into AdWords. So you can see here that I'm on the homepage for AdWords. I'm gonna to go to tools and settings into conversions. You'll see that there's nothing here at the moment. So I'm gonna press the add button. We are importing, so ensure that you press that. Google Analytics and continue. And you'll see that all of those goals that we set up in analytics are now there. Tick all of the boxes, import and continue. That's done.
So the most important thing that we need to do here is optimize the campaigns so that only the registrations are firing as conversions. This is really key, so make sure that you pay attention to the next couple of steps. So as I said, registrations are gonna stay as conversions. We're gonna keep that as that is. Let's start with chargebacks. I've just clicked into it. All we're gonna do is edit settings, go into the include in conversions, untick the box and press save. You must press save and then done, otherwise it will be lost. So that's initials done. That's chargebacks done, sorry. We're now gonna go into this one, reinitial. Same process, untick the box, press save and done. Back. Refund. Edit settings. Untick the box, save and done. You'll be able to see that the ones that we've done have now changed over to no in include in conversions. So we will continue, rebuild, edit settings, including conversions, untick it, save, done. Back to the last few. So we'll leave registration as is. Initial, edit those settings, untick that box, save and done. Go back and you should be able to see that only the registration is pointing to a conversion as included in. This is really, really key. So make sure that it's in there. So you're pretty much there with implementing post backtracking for your accounts now. There are a few key final bits that you will need to let your partner manager know. You will need to let them know that you have done this and that you're satisfied that it is ready to go. You will need to, when creating your UCM and your, your campaign URL, you will need to ensure that the source is Google and Google always. Your partner manager can go through the reason for this if need be. Um, and you will also need to let them know when it is done so that any codes can be um, passed backwards and forwards between partner manager and partner. Once this has been done, let your partner manager know and they can work some magic for you our end and then you're good to go. So it's really, really simple to set up post backtracking. You simply need to use Google Ads, Analytics and your partner manager. If you do need any support or any help, that's what we're here for. Please do let us know. We're always open to screen sharing. If you'd like to give us limited access to, to do this on your behalf, that's absolutely fine. Please ask us any questions that you've got and enjoy the world of post backtracking.